This is the 2021 Hot Wheels Redline Club 1944 Willys MB Jeep. This is a diorama set. As you can see, it features Moab for the rocks in the background. And this is a very, very special Hot Wheels model because it's the first Hot Wheels with an adjustable, movable suspension. This car was delayed. It was supposed to come out for the 2020 Redline Club. So I've been waiting for this car for a very, very long time. There's been a lot of hype around it. I am eager to see how this movable suspension works. So the way this review is going to work is I'm going to talk about the car. We're going to open it. We're going to see how it comes out of the packaging. We're going to test the adjustable suspension. And to do that, I'm going to utilize my Hot Wheels 1987 Dinosaur Mud Pit playset. It has some nice rock formations on it. It has the Moab arches, so it's actually the perfect playset for this vehicle. So we'll see how the suspension works. I'm hoping that as you roll the car over the rocks, the suspension will automatically move and compensate you saw it here first on stick shift Hot Wheels. This is the outer box here. And then once you open that box, it comes with this inner box. And it has a different set of backgrounds for the diorama. One that has arches on these corners here. And you can put this in this clear acrylic case. So if you don't want to see all the way through the sides, you can, I think that's kind of a nice touch. It says 1944 Willis and B on the acrylic here. Has this protective plastic casing on the inside to keep the car in place. And then the car is held down by rubber bands. This is car number 6,687 out of limited production of 20,000 pieces. And the car is held in with these rubber bands here. So we'll see how that goes. All right, so to release the car, you have to open the acrylic, which has these tabs here. So it has this plastic shell here. Just kind of pops out. So let's just check this thing out. Oh yeah, how oh, it's awesome. This military coloring. I did notice that, I don't know if you can see this, but it appears like there's fingerprints all over the car. The vehicle is highly detailed. This diorama is really cool. It's plastic, has multiple areas where you can place the car. And as you can see, it's held on by rubber bands. For the sake of time, I'm just gonna cut these. Wow, the car just sprung up as I did that. It doesn't lay flat. So I think what it has is posable suspension. You can definitely move the suspension out. Let's fold down windshield, that's pretty cool. Now I'm gonna test out the Moab portion of the playset. I will note that the Jeep's front suspension seems to have more articulation than the rear. So I mean, it, it definitely climbs over these rocks. I mean, I'm not forcing it on here, but I mean, you can force it to kind of articulate over different things like this. This is my 1987 Hot Wheels Dinosaur Mud Pit playset, and it is extremely rare uh, be sure to check out my sister video with my review of this mud set playset in detail. But rumor has it that uh, this playset, you know, it comes with its own mud that you pour in here. And rumor has it is that it was on the shelves for a year and moms complained because kids were ruining their carpet in their homes. So Mattel had to pull this from the shelves which was a shame because I think this is one of the best Hot Wheels playsets ever made. Here you can see the super rare vehicle that comes with the playset. It's the Douglas Diggers 
Chevy Blazer. And so this is your regular size off-road vehicle from Mattel in the 80s. Now, if we bring over the Billy's MB, we can see the size difference. It's definitely a taller vehicle. It sits a lot higher, and it has almost the same ground clearance. We'll see how it does. Normally, I would fill this with rocks, but I don't want to accidentally damage the RLC car. So here we go. And it comes up. Onto the bridge we go. Stops on the bridge. Through the tunnel. Just barely. Alright, it's coming into the place right here. No problem. Ground clearance issues under that bridge. It's fine. So yeah, it seems to crawl over pretty much anything. It's actually kind of hard to maneuver with these rubber tires. I would say it's definitely an off-road vehicle. And yeah, you can definitely pose definitely pose the suspension. Something like that, but yeah, it definitely poses but it's stiff, so in other words, if you're driving around moving it through the playset, it just feels like a regular Hot Wheels vehicle. Let's see how it does coming up this huge hill. Comes in, scrapes on the mid carriage, but it definitely comes in and is definitely holding its own. So that's full height there. If we compare that with the Blazer here, you can see the difference between the two. Blazer, really steep. The color on the car looks absolutely fantastic. Chrome looks great. It looks really cool. The car is highly detailed. It's one of the most detailed RLC vehicles I've ever had, and that I think Hobos has ever done. I mean, it has little coil springs between the suspension, and the suspension actually moves up and down. I mean. You know, check it out. I mean, it's that's lowered, so there you see the difference. I'm gonna throw the car up on the turntable and we'll get a better, closer look at some of the really awesome detail that this car has. And it was hard for me to re articulate the suspension to get it to fit into the molded, grooved areas. I really like these dioramas because it gives a really good sense of where the car is supposed to live, what its habitat is, where you would normally see it. Brings the car to life. The dinosaur playset for me really brings this car to life. It gives it an area where you can roam around. And now let's take a closer look at the car itself on the turntable. And I'll show the suspension, move it up and down, and just talk about it a little bit. As you can see, the suspension is movable and it's opposable and you can place it anywhere you want. Right now the driver's side front wheel is off the ground so it's not like the suspension is floppy like you really have to push it. It feels the same way as the um, low rider Hot Wheels RS. The springs are really cool and add that awesome sense of detail. I love the Spectra Flame olive color. It really gives that military look. And the car has details everywhere. Headlights, grill, turn signal. The interior has painted five-pointed harnesses that are red. The dials on the dashboard are painted. The springs are red. The suspension shafts in the middle are silver. The axles are chrome. The car even has disc brakes, and you can see the calipers on the inside portion of the wheel. It has a shovel on the driver's side below the door, which is a really nice feature. You can see the gas tank in the cargo compartment. As the car moves around, you can see that it says, I'm a gonna crawl. And then it also features a windshield that folds down just like you would if you're off-roading and you want to have some more air. Uh, my only downside is when I was playing with the car on the dinosaur playset, 
The windshield kept flopping down as I was trying to move the car over the rocks and the boulders. A little bit of resistance would have been nice in that piece. If you look at the suspension, you can pull the suspension and it moves on these black pieces here and you just push it all the way towards the center of the car on both sides and I believe that means that's the fully up position and boom check that out I mean what an awesome awesome rock crawler just look at that ground clearance folks it is acres in ground clearance you can just push it down a little bit if you want like so so now it's raised up in the front lower in the rear and obviously, so this was the military version of the Jeep. It just has a classic look. If you're a military fan or if you were serving in the military, I could see how you would definitely want one of these for your collection. It sold out within, I don't know, five minutes, I think, which was crazy. I think there was a lot of people that wanted one of these cars and they weren't able to get one. Um, the hype for this was crazy because the car was supposed to come out in 2020, but because of COVID, it got delayed. So, you know, I've been waiting for this car for like a year and a half. You can also move the suspension all the way in the down position. So in the name of science, let's see how tall it is. Okay. A little bit more than an inch and a quarter in the down position. And in the up position, the car is an inch and a half. So it has a quarter of an inch lift. I don't know if it's all the way raised up or not. And it looks a lot taller than that. And it's significantly taller than just a regular off-road Hot Wheels car. Here's the Willys Jeep in the up position in my Carney case for reference. So yeah, it's a good thing this car fits in the case. I think this is one of the best Hot Wheels models they've ever created, period. It has everything going for it. The paintwork is absolutely flawless. The details on this car are awesome. I love the five spoke rims. Here's a detailed look at the interior as it swings around a little bit better. If you like Carlos RLC cars, and if you're on the fence and missed out on this one of 20,000 piece car, I think you should probably go ahead and try to purchase one now while you still can. I'm going to predict that in five years, this is probably going to be a $300 car, even though they made $20,000 of them. That's how awesome this car is. This is going to be one of the most iconic RLC releases they've ever made. Thank you for watching my review of the Hot Wheels 2021 RLC 1944 Willis MB. Jeep. If you like this video, you may also like to watch some of my other Hot Wheels Redline Club reviews. Consider subscribing to Stick Shift Hot Wheels today so you don't miss any new exciting videos. Have a great day!